Well, we did it, guys. It's finally working. This is my first plug-and-play stream. And, uh, I managed to make it... I managed to make it good. Alright, so... You can hear the middies. This came out around the time of Revenge of the Sith, I guess? As demonstrated by Revenge of the, S the Sith. Oh, oh no, it's t Oh no! I'm dead already? <laughs> How the fuck was I supposed to make it that far? So depending on where you have the lightsaber is... Is how you end up hitting. This this game is, uh, wow. Well, it came packaged with a controller. Wow, I didn't know in Star Wars that any old lightsaber could turn into a double lightsaber like this. That's fascinating. Oh, it doesn't Spock say fascinating? Is that Star Trek? Or is that, uh, Star, the Star War? Oof, if I got this as a kid, I would have been disappointed. And, and the time Revenge of the Sith came out, we had games that looked pretty good. Revenge of the Sith was what, 2005? No, 2003? It's funny because there are people in chat who are like, Oh, this game was awesome, I played it. I don't remember. Those were on Naboo. Wait a minute, I don't remember these in Episode 3. Wait, wouldn't it be reasonable to assume that I could just stand like this and win? I don't need to do anything. I could just let this happen and maybe eventually one of the lasers will hit the thing it needs to hit and then I could win. Maybe. Well, I'm bored. Okay, main menu. Separatist insurgents have dared- Oh, God. I get- I get agita- Like, when I hear the word separatist in relation to Star Wars. Surging waves of shit. What is this? Oh god, these controls. Like, you can point in the direction you want to go in, you just don't get there very quickly. It takes you... Like, your ship has to make the adjustment. I, I, I don't... I don't know what my life is anymore when games like this exist. There's the... Oh, wait, 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 that's the same noise. It, this this isn't the worst. This isn't as bad as the previous one. All right, it's pretty fucking bad. Let me tell you, that was that was shit. Wait 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 wait. I'm Anakin. That's Anakin's voice. Now it's uh, it was. Uh. That, that's not what Ad, that's not what Anakin sounds like though. Anakin doesn't sound like that. You remember when Game Boy Advance games were ported over from like PS2 and GameCube? And they were just it was like this, like they had to do this kind of shit to emulate like 3D games. That's what this feels like. This feels like a shitty Game Boy Advance game. Well, wow, this level looks very different from the previous level. <laughs> <laughs> Merciless battle droids that in the movie pose no threat to any any character, much less a Jedi. I guess it wasn't going for impressive so much as it was going for like cheap thing that you could buy your nephew because he likes the Star War. <laughs> Looks like he chose the wrong ship to get on. Oh, yes, the wheel bike. Oh, I remember this scene. Yeah, when Obi-Wan rode the dinosaur. I actually do remember this scene. <laughs> we gotta catch up with General Grievance and issue a General Grievance form. We have to complain about his management. Doesn't wheel bike just sound so much like a, a Star Wars thing? Like, when you hear the word wheel bike, don't you just think, like, oh, yeah, that's Star Wars, totally. Someone says, Vinny, I know you hate the prequels, but what do you think of the original trilogy? The, the fact that I love the original trilogy so much is why I'm so hard on the prequels. I, I really, I, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I just hate, 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 hate episode one and two. This one is a little bit better. I can tolerate this movie, but it still has things that just annoy the shit out of me. And and the worst thing you can ever do, if you even like these movies somewhat, is watch the Red Letter Media reviews. 
Because if you watch those, the blanket reviews, you won't be able to watch Star Wars again. The prequels, that is. You, there's no way. Buddha Pow, Trace, Chase, Droid Invasion. Oh, well, that's it, guys. We, we did it. NES Star Wars right here. Oh, listen to the theme. This is an attempt to get the Star Wars theme into the NES sound chip. <laughs> oh, this NES sound chip, how I love you. It makes everything sound so much better. Best thing that someone just said was, um, this, I can hear the pixels. Hey, this is impressive for the NES. And by the way, I've never played this game. As a Star Wars fan, I regret to inform you that I've never played this. It's not my fault, sir. Please don't deactivate me. I told R2-D2 not to go, but he's faulty. Malfunctioning. He kept babbling on about his dick. His mission. So this is, um... This is, like, the, one of the first Star Wars games on the NES, if not the first Star Wars game on the NES. And you play as Luke Skywalker in a 2D Rock'em Sock'em side-scrolling adventure. Okay. Remember this track in the Star Wars movies? I do. So now we're in Purple Caveman. Okay, finally, we're shooting enemies and it is a cave slug. Not a Tuscan Raider or anything? No, just a cave slug. And giant mosquitoes. What is that? What? Why is that a one-hit kill to me? Final percent completion, three. That's a Tuscan Raider. That is a Tuscan Raider, and he is also a... A two-hit kill! Why even give me a health bar if enemies are going to do that much damage? He's massive. I didn't know Tusken Raiders were like an extra four feet higher than the main characters in Star Wars. Green Cave. All right, I got a good feeling about Green Cave because Green Cave is my color. I get a kind of a Blaster Master, Metroid, Mega Man kind of feel to this. That was a pointless cave. Are we in um, Mos Eisley? Yes. Yes, the music! Yes! Wait. I didn't- Luke didn't go into Mos Eisley Cantina just blowing people away with his blaster. Guys, there they are. They're playing jizz. Yeah. By the way, it really is called jizz. Here, look. I gotta prove it. This is on Wikipedia. Wookie, I'm sorry, Wikipedia. Yep. Hey, what kind of instrument did they play? Oh, bass, viol, band fill, clack, beep box, uh, Duranian, Besh, Nickwell. What's that, a jizz box? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's cool. I'm sure George Lucas didn't know what jizz was, you know, by the time he wrote the movie. Oh, the limitations of the NES. That was, uh, was that Greedo that I just killed? Hey, look, I don't remember Luke Skywalker pumping Greedo full of fucking 30 blaster shots in the cantina. That was a one-shot deal from Han. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't Greedo. That was, uh, a different Rodian, I guess. Oh, these fucking guys suck. Running away from the purple man. Oh, okay. That's good. Luke, sensor show a meteor has landed near you. Go check it out. Oh my god, was that a Tauntaun sound effect? Or was that the- was that the droid? Yeah, I don't remember Han Solo jostling the Tauntaun so it would jump so he could shoot the fucking probe droid seven times. That is a horrible noise. Oh my god. 
That was the Tauntaun. That is confirmed Tauntaun noise. Why do we need this noise? Yeah, Wampa Cave. Yeah, Wampas. Yeah, rolling around. Yeah, rolling around at the speed of sound. Yeah, Sonic Wampa Cave. Oh, do we need to interrupt the music with that? Is it is it 100% necessary to lose the music so that we can hear the Tauntaun breathe? I want to I want to know who did the sound design for this game, and I want to see if they how employed they were after this. <laughs> I can't I can't deal with this. <laughs> I got lost. By the way, the Tauntaun is gone. I can't ride the Tauntaun anymore. I can't get up to him. So that's it. I hit a dead end. Good. Well, you know what? I'd rather drown in the game. I really would. I think that was a better option. Oh, uh, no. It, it, even drowning can't save me from that sound effect. Oh, okay. I've had enough. I really, really, really don't want to hear this Tauntaun ever again. This is a game that I've only heard about, and it, it's notorious for being a really bad Star Wars game. Masters of Terrus Kaisari. I've never played this before. I have only heard about the horrors of this game. Whore. Wow, there's a character named Whore. <laughs> Luke is gonna win because he has a lightsaber. There's no way around it. I don't know, just the lightsaber just does regular punch damage. How do I get lightsaber again? <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, Thok confirmed for cheapest character. Okay, he's got a fucking axe. That doesn't compare to Leia's- oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Leia's lightsaber fucking thing. Hey, there's actually no videos of the ending- Oh, wait, wait, no, here we go. All endings. There's no, uh... There's no sound. On this video. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the sound for you. You scruffy looking nerf herder. Luke, you almost crashed your X-Wing into the flight deck. Yeah, I'm cool. My arm is made of metal. Okay, they're gonna blow up something. They blow up, up okay. Is that Alderaan being blown up? Chewy. <laughs> Chewy, we're going to Kashyyyk, Chewy. No, 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 we're going to Endor. Sorry, Chewy. Hey, do you ever feel like we live in a, in a wax painting, Chewy? <laughs> Chewie, how how could you do that to me? She was she was my wife. That's like one of every Harrison Ford movie past 1990. That was my wife. I'll miss you, Darth Vader. I'll miss you. Listen to that. <laughs> so again, I've never played this, but I I've heard horrible things about it. So let's find out if it's shitty. I, I, the resolution. <laughs> Look, at you can't even read it anymore. Now it's it's beyond the point of reading. We get some really good midis. Look at that resolution. Look at those frame rates. I've heard that this game has one of the worst missions in any Star Wars game ever. So, do you guys want to know the definition of boring? You already know. You're, you're looking at it. It's the stream. It's fine sauce. No, it's it's that plus this. Man, I'm having so much fun. Aren't you having fun? The pixels. Each pixel has got a universe inside of it. Like, each pixel is so big. There's its own self-contained universe. Oh, man. Now, could you imagine playing this on a Game Boy Advance original with no backlighting in a car that's moving? Trying to figure out what the fuck is a TIE Fighter and what's a power-up. Okay, what is that diarrhea in the distance? Could be a Star Destroyer, could be a shoe. Oh my god, the sense of, of depth perception is so fucking skewed on this Star... I don't know if it's a 3D model or some like weird attempt at 3D that just doesn't work. I, I can't really even fucking tell. What? Guys, what killed me? What killed me? 
No! I gotta do the whole level all over again? What did I crash into? There was nothing on the screen. And now it wants me to do the whole level. I crashed into the ship, but there was no ship. The camera was inside the ship. It didn't show the ship. I don't know why I did that. Uh, well, we're done. Oh, it, it would have been the very next level too, guys. So look at the frame rates. Look and look at how fast you're going. I would have loved to have tried to play this level. The rage would have been intense. Look at this bullshit attempt. Now let's compare this with the frame rates from the previous section. Right? See, there's nothing going on in the previous section. There's just TIE Fighters and the Falcon, so it can handle that. This? What is this? Is this like four frames a second? Five frames a second? And not only is it <laughs> that low frame rates, but you can't crash into anything. You can't touch anything. And you're going like full speed. I, assumedly, you can't slow down. I could be wrong. With this tool assisted run, it almost looks like he's going through buildings. The hitboxes look awful. And then you're rewarded with a lovely cutscene. I don't even know what part of the game, what part of the movies is that supposed to be? Is that Luke getting to Mos Eisley with the droids in the back? I don't remember them gallivanting through fucking Mos Eisley at full speed.